All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network just had a segment on the NFL Network where he was talking a little bit about the Jets quarterback situation. Of course, brought up Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, nothing all that new, just, you know, stuff that we already know. Uh, Derek Carr and, and Rodgers here, both, I would say, the favorites right now when you compare them to other, like, random veterans that are set to hit the open market. He talked about Baker Mayfield. But then he threw out a name that was just an absolute curveball. He said another name to consider here is Ryan Tannehill, especially if he's released. Tannehill's coming off a season where he threw for just over 2,500 yards, 13 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, had a completion percentage right just above 65% in only 12 games, so he did miss some time due to an ankle injury and unfortunately could not finish the rest of the season. But we look at Ryan Tannehill right now, he definitely had some really, really good seasons with the Titans, and I instantly just you know, tried to connect the dots. Right off the bat, the Titans just brought in a new general manager, has no direct ties to Tannehill. He's, he hasn't even publicly committed to him. So that whole situation is up in the air. We look at Tannehill's cap hit for this season. It's over $38 million. So personally, I just don't see that big of a trade market for him, especially considering that he's coming off the ankle surgery, right? So over $38 million coming off the ankle surgery. It's, it's a tough sell. If you're the Titans. If the plan is to part ways with them, chances are he's he's probably going to get released. Now, he would be an $18 million uh, dead cap hit on the Titans books, which is also a lot of money. But if the new GM isn't sold on him, I could definitely see it happening, right? Because he actually came from San Francisco and Jimmy Garoppolo is set to hit the open market, so maybe you can see a quarterback swap in uh, in Tennessee. And I know the Titans are still rumored to maybe target an you know an Aaron Rodgers. He's actually building a house in Tennessee. Um, don't know the exact city, but there is a couple of connections there. But uh, going back to Tannehill here, we look at the New York Jets. Like, how does Tannehill link up with them? He does check the box as an experienced veteran QB. I mean, this is a guy who's won a lot of games. He's 30 and 13 as the Titans starting quarterback. 2020, by the way, just an incredible season for him. 33 touchdowns, seven picks, thir just over 3,800 uh, passing yards. And the Titans went 11 and five, ma making the playoffs. He does have playoff experience. So, you know, we're looking at a guy in Tannehill. Any uh, like any other possible connections? Yes, the Jets brought in Keith Carter from Tennessee. He's now the Jets offensive line coach and running game coordinator. So there is that familiar face. Sala said in his uh, press conference that he wants to stick to playing that good defense and really relying on running the football. Brees Hall is coming back. Michael Carter behind him. Bam Knight behind him. Like the Jets running back room is stout, right? So there's an obvious plan in place here. Could Tannehill maybe be like a plan C or D if the team misses out on Rodgers and misses out on Derek Carr here? And again, according to Rappaport here, he's a name to consider for the Jets. But at the end of the day, I'm looking at Tannehill will be 34 years old by the time next season rolls around coming off the ankle surgery, like we said. I think, you know, you obviously have the top tier, Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr. That, that's one tier. Behind those guys, to me, it's really the three quarterbacks floating in that in that second tier, right? Baker Mayfield, Jimmy G, and Ryan Tannehill. Not really, I guess if I had to rank them, I'll go Aaron and Derek 1A, 1B. At three, I would probably have to go with Garoppolo, considering that he has the you know a ton of playoff experience. He knows Robert Sala, and he has a proven track record of getting along with guys in the locker room, not dividing it whatsoever, doing the opposite, uniting it. Every player loves Jimmy G, so I think for that reason, also his contract wouldn't be extremely you know outrageous or anything. I would have Jimmy at three, Baker. Is more of the wild card because that at the end of the day, number one overall pick, we've seen Baker just throw darts like absolutely just put the ball wherever he wants on the field. We have seen Mayfield play at an extremely high level, but on the flip side, we have seen bad football like in Carolina, like. Carolina Panther Baker Mayfield was not fun to watch. It just was not effective whatsoever. But then he goes and he lands with the Rams, and all of a sudden he starts looking, you know, it's it just it's just a testament to coaching there. Um, 
but a bit of a wild card, right? There's boom or bust potential with Mayfield, but again, pretty cheap. I would say for Baker, you could probably get him for like 10 to 15 million annually, um, as opposed to, you know, some of these other guys where it's like Rodgers and Carr, you're looking at like upwards of 40 plus. Um, so if you, if you know, if, again, if the Jets want to save money or something like that, maybe you can go down the Mayfield route. Uh, and then number five, Ryan Tannehill. I just look at Tannehill as like a two-year max guy, 34 years old. I just, you know, four years from now, is Tannehill going to be the quarterback? Probably not. I think if you just want the game manager and that's all you need, right? You have every position locked up. You just need the guy to manage the football game. Tannehill could work. Tannehill could work for this Jets squad, but I think the Jets team right now is a little incomplete when we look at the offensive line, when we look at linebacker, when we look at safety, maybe adding another wide receiver, also taking into consideration players that the Jets might release, you know, Corey Davis, Carl, like there's a couple of guys that the Jets might cut bait with, you know, if you're looking at, if you're looking at that, right, and, and taking that into consideration, I don't know if the Jets are just the quarterback away from making the Super Bowl push. Now, look, if you get a guy in the building like Aaron, the Super Bowl is realistic because he's that good. But a guy with a guy in Tannehill, he's just a bit too much of a game manager for me to take the team over the top. Um, but again, if the Jets want to load this, load the team up in free agency and whatnot, free agency and the draft. Titans release Tannehill and you could bring him in on a relatively cheap contract uh, contract when comparing him to other quarterbacks around football. Uh, I would be open to it uh, there. Bottom line, Tannehill would be an upgrade over what the Jets had last year, and you can do a lot worse than Ryan. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Where do you stand on this? I, I know uh, a lot of Jets fans either want Carr or Rogers, but um, I think again, for me, number three is Jimmy. Number four is Baker, number five is probably Tannehill. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.